today is Reno Day. The biggest transformation is going to be the flooring. There's no renovation without a little bit of drama, is there? Today is Reno Day. Woohoo! We're really excited. So today we're going to start to actually build this girl back up. All right, so we're going to try to sand back these decals. So yes. hopefully they're easier than anticipated. Yes. We're going to make sure all of the doors are off and we're ready to go because I'm going to make all new doors. Beautiful. We have quite a few cupboards in here, but I'm not quite sure what to put in all of them. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time today working out A, what we actually need when we go on a trip, and B, what cupboards will be most suitable to what items. So here we have the kitchen, so we're going to have to think of some great storage solutions to house, you know, cutlery, cups, mugs, all the little things that we need to cook. Then we also have a little bit of space up here. I'm thinking that we could use this to store, you know, uh, first aid kits, that type of thing. We're going to build something down here for shoe storage. So like a bench seat with storage underneath it. And then we have all of this storage up here. I don't know, kids toys, um, all the essentials. And this cupboard here is probably the only cupboard in the RV that has full height to it. So I think this is where we're going to have to be really tricky and clever and think about vacuums and that kind of thing. Another cupboard above the mirror here for all of your essentials. And then we have cupboards above the bed, which I would assume will be for clothes, shoes, and that kind of thing. All right, so I'm gonna measure up and start planning. Day two of hardcore renovations. So today we're going to try to get the vinyl flooring down. The biggest transformation of our motorhome is going to be the flooring. We had an ugly, ugly blue carpet and now we get to bring some timber back in with these nice flexible vinyl floors. These boards are super easy to install and work with because they're flexible so they can pick up imperfections in the floor. They've also got an adhesive back and they're simple to cut just with a Stanley knife. So hopefully that'll help us when we're trying to cut around all these little tricky details. But I think this is gonna make all the difference because they're great in wet areas and they're easy to keep clean, which is perfect for both the little kids. As soon as you walked in the RV, there was always a springy spot here in the floor. Now we've pulled the carpet up, we've cut a hole in the floor to see what the problem was and there was actually nothing holding the floor up here. So from Bunnings, we've grabbed some angle and some timber and some screws and we've created like a little subfloor here to help hold the weight of the people as you walk in and it's a nice and strong subfloor for the vinyl floor planks. We're under a massive time constraint here and unfortunately we didn't have any spare foam um, to insulate the hole that we've cut out. So we've had an old sun visor that we found in the back of the RV handy and we've just cut that up and that's gonna help insulate the flooring from the heating and the cooling and also the sound. the vinyl flooring has started going down super easy it's got that adhesive back on it so it's uh just peels off and sticks down now that we've got all the masonite down it's all primed so it'll be great under the dining table where the kids obviously eat quite a lot it beats the carpet uh, easy to clean it's all been prepped and it's going down quite easily it's going to be hard wearing don't have to worry about bringing rocks in through the front door so yeah, it's exactly how we thought it would go, which is great. No massive hiccups as yet. A little bit of a progress update. A lot is happening. We've almost finished painting, which looks great, nice and fresh. The floors are in. It's slowly coming together, even though it doesn't really look like it. 
It has been a huge couple of days. We've been prepping, priming and painting to remove majority of that timber look in this space. It's made a massive difference, but we've also allowed some areas for wallpaper, which will get done later on. Now, one of my favorite painting projects, not that I like painting at all, was actually painting this shower area. It's made a huge difference and really freshened the space up. So we're not too far away. We need to include warmth through our timber bench tops, our door handles and our flooring. And I think it will make this space feel like home. I'm here today at our friend's workshop. Em and Dave make incredible handmade pieces of furniture. And today they're helping us with some bench tops, an archway, redoing the doors and a bench seat. And I can't wait to jump in and give them a hand. Originally, I wanted to replace the doors in the RV. The reason being is this beveled edge looks a little bit dated. However, Dave showed me the back of these doors, which has a great shaker style profile. So what we're actually going to do is flip the doors, change the door handles to the opposite side, sand it back, paint it, and I think they're gonna come up pretty beautiful. I seriously love that machine. So we've taken off the hinges and now we need to flip the door over and pop them on the other side. So Dave's made this handy little concoction to ensure that we've got the hinges in the right position. Now we're on to the fun part, which is the painting. We've given it a coat of primer, which is really important to prep first. And now I'm on to the final coats. I've chosen this beautiful Simply Vanilla colour, which is a nice warm white, and also a woolly pine, which is the green. So now we have the final piece of the door puzzle, which are these cute little timber doorknobs, which will complement the timber bench top perfectly and balance the space. just about to install the doors and we did have them numbered however we sanded the numbers off so we guessed which doors were for the kitchen and unfortunately we guessed wrong. So we've now painted our kitchen doors white that was supposed to be green and our white doors are now green. So it's going to take us a little bit longer to repaint but I guess it's not the end of the world. There's no renovations without a little bit of drama. Does that have a, oh no, there's an extra door. Today, I am repainting the doors that we incorrectly painted yesterday. Ah, this is just part of renovating, unfortunately. 